Hi guys, let's have a look at Perfume by Lovejoy uh, on the ukulele. I'm going to be showing you the main riffs which we have, one bass riff, one guitar riff and after all the chord progression which just repeats throughout the whole song. So let's have a quick look at it. Uh, the first chord which we have, we just need three chords for the whole song by the way. Uh, the first chord which we have is a D sharp. Uh, we just put your index and bar the third frets of the top G, C, E and keep the E string muted. The next chord which we have is a G-sharp major 7. In this case, it actually kind of gets reversed of the D-sharp chord. You just mute the top G-string this time and hit the 3rd frets of the C, E, A string this time. That's a G-sharp major 7. D-sharp major, G-sharp major 7. So D, G, and then we have F minor, which I'm playing top G-string muted, a ring finger on 5, of C, middle finger on 4, of what do you call this? E and A3. That's it. Now, let's have a quick look at the riff. You know the chord shapes and all, but the riff is a bit different. The guitar riff is we have over here. So put your ring finger and your pinky finger on third fret of the C and the E string and put your index on A1. Now, let's get ready. I'm gonna be using your fingers this time. So I'm plugging. So one, two, three, one, two, three. I use these two fingers to pluck the C and the E string three times. One, two, three, one, two, three, like this. And then I play, and then I play A, E, A, E. The time my middle finger hits the E, I'm sorry, the E string and the index hit the E string. Like this, you got one, two, three, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be changing the shape. Now we have middle finger on second fret of the C string, index finger is still there. Uh, I mean, it's not still there, but it's now on the E string first fret. And we do the exact same pattern, plug the G, and, I'm sorry, plug the C and the E string three times. One, two, three. And then I play. I play three on the E, one on the E, three on the E, one on the E. So. And then we have this time I got my ring finger fixed on the third fret of the C string and I play C then I play three on E then I play one on E so uh, from the beginning of that last riff last part of the riff which we have I hit three on the C then three on the E then three on the C then one on the E so, four times, third time, four time, that's it. That's how the river actually goes. And I do hear in the song, uh, in the, when we are halfway in the song, we have this thing going on. The first part of the riff, the chord which you played before, uh, this shape, we actually hit third fret on the A string. Like we plug the C and the E string, three third frets, three times, one, two, three, and then we hit the E string, then the A string, uh, sorry, and then we hit the E string, then the E string, and then we hit the E string third fret, and then back to E string third fret. I really get confused, because just before this I was making a guitar tutorial, and uh, like if you switch from a ukulele to guitar, it's really a problem, because I'm a bit new to the ukulele, and like, uh, the strings kind of confuses me sometimes so really sorry for that i hope everything is crystal clear so the riff the variation which we have in the middle of the song which i just showed you all right everything else seen And now the bass riff which we have for the intro, uh, it goes like this. We play three on C, and then we play three on E string a couple of times. One on the E string we play one two three. So again from the beginning C three, then E two times third fret, then fourth fret on the E once, then three back on the E. So. Repeat. 
and we also have another variation in this bass riff too when we are half in the song like we had for the riff but this time it's a bit different we have so we play till the fourth fret on the e string and we don't end that riff on the third fret of the e string but instead we end that on the first fret of the e string and that's the difference we have if you the song you can get that it's really easy uh, so for both the riffs we just have one note changing uh, in the middle of the song otherwise it's the same thing and now uh, I can strum the chords so what I'm doing I'm strumming the D sharp chord a down up as soon as we are down up I kind of mute the chord like down up lift the chord position it got muted F minor move on to G sharp 87 that's it and there you have it, that's the whole song. Down up two, three, four, down up two, three, four, down up two, three, four, down up two, three, four. You can even go for down, 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 I hope this helps you out. Let me know what other song you just want to learn. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And bye.